Hi, I'm John Waterhouse, and this is Weekday Wisdom. Thank you for joining me today. My question for you today is how do you deal with the flaws in your life? And to answer that question, I'm going to tell you a story. It's a story about uh, an elder woman who lived in the woods. And every morning, she would take her two clay uh, vessels, her two pots, uh, that had handles on them uh, down to the water. She would carry the pots across her shoulders with a, with a pole and uh, would go down to the stream, the creek, and, uh, and fill them with water and bring them back. And she did that for many years uh, until one day when she got to the, to the stream, got to the bank and, and set down her, her two pots. One of them rolled, it tipped and rolled into the water and it hit a rock. And it didn't break open, but it got a crack in it. And she was uh, not happy about this because, uh, you know, she has these two pots and she counts on this water every day. It was really more than enough water, but she, uh, she still had her system and she wasn't happy that she had cracked that pot. So she filled the, the two vessels with water and she put them on the pole and she carried them home. And by the time she got home, what she realized was is that she only had uh, half a pot or half a pot of water in the one that had the crack. The other one was full. And of course, this be, uh, became problematic in that she had to keep shifting the, the, the placement of the, the two uh, vessels across this pole on her back so that she could try to manage the weight between them as the water dripped out of the one on one side. So this went on for quite a while. And she didn't really appreciate it. She had no way to get a new pot. So she continued doing it. Uh, she, she dealt fine with having a, uh, uh, one and a half vessels of water to move through her day. But uh, uh, it was still an annoyance. And she, you know, she had this flaw in her life, this, this pot that she used that had a crack in it. And uh, she kept going and kept doing her work and letting it be that way. She would have to shift the pots across her back as the, as the water came out on the way home, uh, but she learned to do that. And then one day, walking along this path that she had walked on every day for so many days to get her water, she realized that beautiful flowers were growing on the side where she carried the pot with the crack. There were no such flowers on the other side. That was simply uh, the woods like everything else. Uh, and uh, uh, it was the one that she carried on the side with the crack that had seemed to be more alive, seemed to be more brightly colored, seemed to be more full and rich in her life. So she began going out and snipping some of those flowers and putting them uh, in a small dish or, or such on her, on her table. And she, out of this, developed in a completely different relationship with this cracked pot, realizing that because of that crack, she had more beauty in her life. She had more color in her life. She had the opportunity to have a richer life because one of the pots had a crack. Now, the point of this story to me is that we all have flaws. We all have aspects of our ourselves that aren't quite what we'd like them to be. What, and whatever that is, we find fault in that and we are struggling with what that is in our lives. We, we find that our lives aren't perfect in our minds, that there's something wrong that we have to deal with. But the greater truth is that every flaw has a hidden meaning. Every flaw has a, a purpose to it. Everything that we think is wrong is not wrong. It's fine. But we have to drop this idea that there's something broken, that there's something bad going on, so that we can see truly the presence of the divine in that thing, in that part of our lives. And when we do, everything changes. And then we can see how rich and beautiful and wonderful and perfect our lives are, even with that flaw, even with this thing that we thought wasn't okay. So take this lesson from the old lady with the cracked pot, that all of us have the ability to be cracked pots, that all of us have the ability to think that we're not okay but we are. And when we know it, our lives are full and rich and wonderful. So ponder on that for a little while and see if that doesn't help you see how wonderful your life is. I wish you well. Have a wonderful day. Be safe. And I'll see you again soon.